Good morning, Libra. <laughs> Something happened with the uh, recording. I don't know what happened, but it did not record at all. So I'm going to start over. This is the energy card that you got, but I'm going, going to try to just talk a little bit about the energies that came in. I hope that I'm not missing out on something. Mercury retrograde is already <laughs> taking over a little bit when it comes to technology, even if Mercury retrograde is not here. But there is a lot of beauty, a lot of energy surrounding you. There is a new beginning. There is, oh, I'm so excited to make this reading for you and for me because I am a Libra Sun. But one thing I want to point out, this is a card that I'm going to get into details with after. So let's just try to merge in what I spoke about and what I tapped into before. One thing that I saw was the star. And it's actually interesting because it's something that came up in the daily reading that I made today. I will link the reading on top of the screen. And I heard commitment. So there will be commitment. With that, I also saw a keyhole. So a star and a keyhole, something is being opened up. There is a wish, there is a commitment here between two people or a wish fulfilled. It's a true commitment. There is responsibility in someone's words, someone's commitment. That's the only way I can put it out. Like whatever comes your way, you can trust it. People have a lot of respect for you and you a very balanced when it comes to your heart, when it comes to your mind, your body, your soul. It's a very good time to fully commit to things. So I feel also with that, that for a lot of you guys, Lib Libra, right? Next year is the year of love coming together, dreams coming together, wishes being fulfilled. So let's take the book. I am just going to read this up again. What joy, what glee, beams from the sounds of voices, uplifting the webs of sorrow, glimmering as if no tomorrow. Merriment. I will take the book. 21. That was yesterday. So I wonder if something happened yesterday. Did you commit to something yesterday? Did someone decide to commit to you? Maybe someone didn't even reach out yet, but someone might in the spiritual realm, have committed to you. What did you dream? The key words for this card is happiness following your soul, which fits very well together with this energy of the commitment and the key and the star. You're following your soul. Some of you guys might even search or reach a higher education in a way, physical or mentally. Like maybe you go to school, maybe there's something about singing maybe there's something about the spiritual right you're like yeah there's a higher learning happening but okay this can guide you to act on the things that brings you joy start a business if that aligns with your soul or switch careers sign up for your vocal training <laughs> or retire early to spend more time with your family oh Maybe you want to become a YouTuber. Merriment has come to you because your soul is yearning for more movement of happiness that you are not getting in your current position. That makes sense. It could be around where you're living. It could be love. It could be career. Your soul is speaking to you. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this takes months ahead. Well, okay. <laughs> I don't know what just happened, but uh, the temperance really wanted to come visit us. There you go. That is being guided by spirit. Is it Gabriel? I can't remember, actually. But look, you're being shown the way. You are being shown the way. Oh, what a blessing. But what else? Let's tap a little bit more into your energy. I actually want to put on my candle because the other one burned out. If I can find my lighter. But you are stepping into a brand new energy in your life. Brand new energy. And this is only the beginning, Libra. This is only the beginning. There's big changes when it comes to relationship, when it comes to love, and who you identify as. 
you are not afraid of shining bright. No. And this will impact your life in 2023. But it's already starting now. Look at that. The star. The star. Celebration. Yes, 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 yes. It is the end of the old and the beginning of the new. Don't fear the Ten of Swords and don't fear the Eight of Swords because this is you cutting your cords with the past. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> There you go, Libra. <laughs> Something that you felt very stressed about is just going to fade away. It's just fading away, fading out of your life. You're stronger than you have ever felt. Like there is a strength about you now because of what you have been going through the past three years, I will say. All the stress, all the drama, the fears, the worries are fading away at the end of December, which is now when I record this. There's a reason why readings come out the time they come out, because there's a message that's being delivered to you at the exact time. Because Spirit really wanted to know that it's just fading away now. It's working itself out. Every little drama, every little fear is just gone. There's a lot of abundance. You're secure. You're happy. Again, there could be a love offer coming your way. Like, it is, you know, for me, with this, especially with the Knight of Cups, it could be something with a Sagittarius, by the way, or someone with water or fire in their chart. Could be whatever. But the offer is like your wish. It will lead to success. Yeah. Wow. A lot of you guys will get engaged, married, moving, opening your own business, ideas, publishing something next year. You will, especially because that you have been letting go of something here. And I do want to take a little bit more cards for that. But wow. Wow, 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 wow. First of all, I actually want to take some cards for the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords, but for me, it really shows that you are ending an old chapter. It's the end of the old and the beginning of your dreams and desires, what you're wishing for. The Queen of Cups is the falling in love queen. She's not afraid, especially with the Six of Wands being underneath the Eight of Swords reversed. You're not afraid anymore. Because you know your worth. Your, yeah, you know your worth. Okay, let's see. Wow. <laughs> I wonder if there is something about a water sign. Why is... Wow. <laughs> okay. It's interesting that we actually have two queens and we have two kings. <laughs> huh. I wonder if... Because I did ask to get cards for the two swords reversed and then we get two kings so i wonder if someone is like awakening to their feelings so that they can come give you clarity but it could simply also be you again you guys are on different pathways because not all of you are interested in love or maybe you are already you know in love and married and everything with kids so oh <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so if you guys say it's love, Gemini, Aquarius, wow, and look how it's being combined and healed. I'm telling you guys, 2023, this is a 2023 reading for some reason, <laughs> but like I said, it's because it starts now. It starts now. There's love, there's happiness, there's healing, your wishes being fulfilled, whatever it is that you wish for, it's coming. It is coming. No fear. There's no fear. At all. The Hermit. Take your time. Take your time. Virgo energy. 
and then go for it queen of swords right, right there look at that wow and then again knights the, i feel for a lot of you guys there is love coming your way but it's because that you like in especially in this one you have done your healing you put the the lantern down and the universe is moving you swiftly into the new like you are this like warrior who's been going through the fight of a lifetime and now you're strong and that is when it comes in the knight of cups I don't know, did I say Knight of Wands? I might have said that. Knight of Cups is someone offering you love. It's also a card of psychic abilities. It's a card of attraction. It's a card of, you know, whatever offer comes your way. It's things are going to go very well for you. It's a message to use your, cre your creative side, your imagination. Your imagination, your imagination will get you to places. Everything is behind you. All of the drama is behind you. You're ready for the new chapter. Dare to allow your passion to guide you because you are going to discover magic. That is a message for you, Libra. Wow, I am excited. I hope you guys are excited as well. Remember, the star, the luck. You're opening up something new. That is it. Have a magical holiday. And I will see you guys in the daily readings on next month. Bye.